Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, now a lot of you are concerned and have noticed um, what I was saying about the side engagement and the list that's actually being created when you have a Chromium-based browser. And some of you have confirmed that you see it on Brave, which means even Brave, when you are online, that data can leak in certain circumstances to website. Uh, it's going to tell the websites your favorite websites. And the engagement score that goes with it, there's that number. A lot of you are asking me also what the numbers mean. So on Google Chrome, I actually cleared mine. And I'll show you how to do it, but also the negative side of doing so. So here's site engagement. And if you notice, there's only one now. There's weather, my weather page, which is the page that uh, is the one that loads uh, with the browser when I open it. it. This had a big list before, and what I did actually cleared it. Now, first of all, what does this list mean? It's a list of your most visited websites, and they give it a score, and the score goes with a lot of things. It goes with when you visit the page, when you click on the page, the time that you spend on the page, the different other areas of the same page or website that you'll visit. So the more you interact with a site, the more that engagement is going to be there. So for example, let me just load again my main page here. And I'm on this page and now I'm actually going to interact with this page more as I'm going to click things in it. I'm going to find a city. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna find my city, here we go. And check the weather for that city. And of course, check the weather stuff and there's things you can click and things you can watch and all the stuff that you will actually be clicking and looking at is interacting with that score. So now, if I go back, you'll notice that the score for the page has changed, and it's now at 8.7. So the engagement, the more you go to a page, the more that score rises, and it creates a list of the websites you interact the most with. This website, this list is not synced or shared. By default, it just sits on your PC. So it's basically just for you and for you to see and it's not supposed to interact with other websites. It's not supposed to be shared. But like I said, the fingerprint.com website found that there are sneaky ways that websites actually can go and check the site engagement list. So that becomes a um, privacy concern for some of us. And um, it seems that it's every Chromium-based browser. You cannot um, remove this. This is not something you can switch off. You cannot prevent the browser from doing it, but you can remove the information in it. To do so, what you need to do is, for example, in uh, Chrome, is go into three uh, vertical dots, going to your settings. And here you go into uh, privacy and security, and you go to the clear browsing data. Here, for this to be removed, you have to remove the browsing history the cookies and other site data, and the cached images and files, and click the Clear Data button. Once you do that, if you notice, I'm going to get out, I'm going to go back in, and you'll notice that the score is going to be reset. So here we go. If I look at my engagement, we're back down. So three is the base score that's given because of it loaded once. But you see that it actually will clear the list. Now, the negative side to this is, of course, because you are removing all the browsing data, you'll have to sign in back to websites that you were already signed in. You'll have to sometimes you know, recheck or redo uh, an option in a website that is always automatic because it knows because of the data that's saved to there. So these are all things that are going to be affected here. And so that's the negative side of this. 
if for you the sharing or the possible sharing of site engagement is not a problem, in my case, I don't really care, um, then leave it alone. But if for you it's a privacy concern and for you it's a problem, um, well, you can just go into your browser in the section where you can remove uh, the data that's saved by the browser. Uh, if you have used the option in the browser to always clear the data every time you shut down the browser, then the site engagement shouldn't be much of a concern, except the fact that if you don't shut down the browser and go to multiple websites, it will still create a new list every time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.